Georgia Aquarium is home to one of the largest living coral reef exhibits in the world. The ability to study these amazing and fragile animals in a controlled environment has allowed the aquarium's marine biologists to develop groundbreaking coral care and propagation techniques. These techniques are now being used to help rebuild threatened coral reefs in the Florida Keys. Since 2010, the aquarium has been working with the Coral Restoration Foundation on Molasses Reef, which lies southeast of Key Largo in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. Over the last 40 years, Molasses Reef has experienced a rapid decline, with 97% of the critically endangered reef building staghorn and elkhorn corals dying. A combination of both local and global threats have caused a variety of issues, including bleaching. George Aquarium has a unique opportunity to work with organizations throughout this country and also globally to help restore and protect and conserve the coral reefs uh, locally in our domestic waters, such as our program that we have working with the Coral Restoration Foundation in Key Largo, as well as working with Secor down in Curacao and other locations. Aquarium staff and volunteers have logged more than 2,000 dive hours in their efforts to restore Molasses Reef with fragments transplanted from the Coral Restoration Foundation's nursery. Once replanted, the coral fragments are closely monitored, supported, and studied to determine which are the most successful, how large they should be at planting to spur quick growth, and how closely they should be spaced for optimal coverage. None of the work on this project would be possible without the support given by our partner, the UPS Foundation. Well, at UPS, we're a global company. We operate in over 220 countries and territories. So we see firsthand the challenges and opportunity that our planet faces in the air, land, and sea. The Coral Reef Project and working with an institution like the Georgia Aquarium gave us the opportunity to impact a vital resource for this planet for generations to come. In addition to the work done by divers planting coral fragments, Georgia Aquarium has been closely involved with the annual coral spawning event. On just a few nights each fall, mature corals release millions of gametes into the water column. Some of these are collected by divers and transferred to a laboratory where coral gametes are fertilized to produce healthy, robust corals. In 2017, these baby corals were transferred to Georgia Aquarium to grow in optimal conditions. Georgia Aquarium is working hard to save Molasses Reef. The scientific advances that have been made through studying corals in an aquarium environment are being applied to conservation work in the ocean. Through our efforts in-house and in the field, Georgia Aquarium is committed to inspiring awareness and preservation of aquatic animals and ecosystems worldwide. Me personally, I get a large satisfaction out of that as well as all the work that I have an opportunity to do out in the field. I was born and raised and lived by the ocean most of my life and I want nothing more than to be able to give back what was given to me at a young age and be able to have a healthy, robust, self-sustaining coral reef for the future for my children as well as my grandchildren.